all good. So we're probably going to start. So hi everyone and welcome to another live session from the series Engineering Qualification Validation in Australia. And in this live session, which is session number 87, that I hold every week, uh, currently Sundays, 8.30 p.m. Brisbane time. And tonight I will be talking about bad news, um, about when engineers receive bad news from Engineers Australia and some hints to avoid those bad news. So, but first, for those that don't know me, my name is Gerson Ida. I'm the founder of www.engineersinaustralia.com, a website to share content of value and useful information to help you in your journey to validate your engineering qualification in Australia. And I also share some information about other aspects of engineering, uh, like workplace health and safety, environmental management, day-to-day -day of engineering in Australia. And also I have a special series, probably next week I'm going to do a video. The live session is going to be from my special series, how to get a professional job in Australia. And if you haven't joined the Telegram group yet, um, the Telegram is like, a, it's an app, it's like WhatsApp. It's a messaging app where I have a group called um, Engineering Qualification Validation. Uh, today, we've got about 803 members in the group. So thank you very much for everybody. And in that group, I share audios, videos and posts and also some job opportunities there as well. So if you are not really uh, part of the group yet, I'm going to paste the, the link in Facebook and also going to paste the link in YouTube so you guys can, I'll put it here, yeah, join my Telegram group, uh, both. And those on Instagram, uh, if you go to my bio, there is a link and it's a link tree. So once you open that link, it will open up a few buttons. And one of the button is to join my Telegram group. So you just need to download the app first, Telegram app. And once you download the app, then you can click on the link and then you will be joining uh, the group. It's free. Uh, you don't need to pay anything. You just, you just join the group. And also, I would like to thank everybody that participated in my free workshop, Engineering Qualification Validation. And if you miss out the, the workshop that I, that I had uh, three weeks ago, uh, I'm going to also put the link in Facebook and YouTube if you want to register to the next one. Which is going to be probably sometime in April. So register to the free workshop. It's going to be sometime in April. And um, how do I get rid of this? Uh, yes. No. Workshop. So those on Instagram as well. You can go to my bio. There is a, one of the buttons is also for you to register uh, in the free workshop. And then I'll let you know when I confirm the dates so you can, you can also participate. Okay, so let's go to the content. And as I've mentioned before, tonight is going to be about uh, potentially you could get some bad news from Engineers Australia. And obviously, bad news is when Engineers Australia, they don't really approve your application or they ask you for, they give you some feedback and asking you for a few things. So every time, obviously, that uh, your application is not approved uh, at the first time, uh, every time that you get a feedback from Engineers Australia, obviously, uh, it's, not a, it's not very good. So tonight I'm going to talk about the types of feedback that I've seen 
uh, that Engineers Australia already provided to many engineers. And obviously, uh, this list is not exhaustive. Uh, they are from my experience uh, of people that contacted me because they received some feedback and also some uh, feedback that I saw from my students. So from my experience, there are a few types of feedback that Engineers Australia might provide to, uh, to you applicants. And obviously, this is my own classification. As I said, uh, the list is not exhaustive. There could be more, but uh, these are the main ones that I, I noticed that that happened. So the first one, and I'm going to put this in the PDF. I'm going to read just the types of feedback, and then I'm going to show you how the PDF of this live session is going to be. So the first one is the feedback that is not critical. Uh, and I'm going to explain a little bit about each of these types of feedback. The second feedback is for additional information. And the other feedback is when you need to do a new career episode. And consequently, you probably need to do a new summary statement as well. And the other feedback is when Engineers Australia is downgrading the category or they are classifying you in a different occupation, uh, different from the one that you applied for. And the other feedback is a very bad one, is when Engineers Australia, they reject your application uh, for many reasons. All right, so... I'm going to talk about some of the main reasons why Engineers Australia could uh, provide you a negative feedback or could provide you uh, some bad news. So the first, uh, the first reason why would be, and, uh, and those reasons, they are not really in order of priority. Uh, they all have pretty much similar importance. So the first... Uh, the first kind of a reason why Engineers Australia could give you some negative feedback is about your experiences. So you got to make sure that your experiences, they align with the ANZ SEO occupation definition. If your experiences that you chose to write your career episodes, they're not really matching with the ANZ SEO occupation definition. So there's certainly a big chance for you to uh, Engineers Australia give you a negative feedback. You want to remember that Engineers Australia, they use the ANZ SEO occupation definition as a benchmark during the qualification validation assessment. So this means that uh, if the experience that you, cho you chose to write your career episode does not match with the ANZ SEO occupation definition, uh, it will probably your application will probably going to be rejected or received uh, a negative feedback. Um, another aspect is the qualification that you had in your home country. They need to match the qualification that is valid here in Australia. So in some cases, what you were qualified to do in your country may not be in the same here in Australia. Many engineers, they did many things in their home country but here in Australia, the same type of engineer may not really do those activities. And therefore, Engineers Australia may not consider those activities or those experiences as equivalent to the type of engineering that you are applying for. Uh, I'm just going to show you how, how the PDF is going to be. Um, I've been doing this PDF pretty much in the last few few live sessions and so I'm going to prepare this one with the information of this uh, uh, live session so the first topic that I spoke about was the types of feedback and then experiences so I'm going to be pretty much having the content of this live session in this PDF so you can refer to and in the middle of the live session I'm going to explain how you can get uh, a copy of this PDF so just going back to 
to there yeah so the other reason why um engineers australia could provide you a negative feedback it's when you are addressing your competencies or when you, or when you are not really addressing your competencies so when you're writing your career episodes you need to make sure that you address the 16 competencies required by engineers australia for either qualification uh, occupation category either for professional engineer for engineering technologist or engineering associate all of the three categories they require you uh, engineers australia requires you to uh, address the 16 competencies so if you don't really address those competencies uh, that could be a very good reason why engineers australia may provide you a negative feedback so you need to really read carefully the 16 competencies that are in the booklet and select examples of your experience that are relevant according to what is required by each competency uh, just uh, just be aware be aware of that and if you have any question about uh, uh, the validation process yeah please put in the comments and uh, I will endeavor to to answer those tonight as well so I'm just going to explain uh, how we can get uh, how you can get this PDF So going back to the PDF again. So how you can get a copy of this PDF? So I will ask you guys to do a little bit of interaction with me. Uh, obviously, I put together this content. I spent a lot of time today to put together this PDF. Uh, it's got about, I think it's going to be five or six pages and very valuable content that i hope that can help you so what i'm going to ask you guys is just a little bit of interaction uh, if you go to my instagram account uh, at jerson ida you will see my last post and my last post is actually about uh, this live session there's a live uh, the post says got bad news from engineers australia and uh, so that's the the post so what i would like you guys to do uh, i would like to see some likes and some comments in that post and what comments that's pretty much the one that is in the in the question here what is your biggest fear in receiving a negative feedback from engineers australia so if you go to the last post the one with the the bad news this one and then if you like the post and put your comment what is your biggest fear in receiving a negative feedback i will then get this word document i will make it as a pdf and i'm going to post in the telegram group the engineering qualification validation group so and for those that are here in the live session there will be a password and i'm going to review the password during the live session so you guys that are live with me you will be able to uh, get the password and then i will put the pdf in the telegram group if i have some interaction in the last post in my instagram okay uh, the other main reason why you could get a negative feedback from engineers australia is because of plagiarism so this is one of the most dangerous reasons you can get rejected by engineers australia as you can be banned for up to three years if you get caught by plagiarism so it's not just obviously your application being uh, rejected and then you being unable to apply for up to three years but also engineers australia will probably send your details to the department of home affairs or immigration department uh, so for future for future uh, investigation by the department so just be careful with that 
So don't make the mistake to ask somebody else to write the report on your behalf. In Geniz Australia, they use a very advanced plagiarism software and you will get caught. Even though those companies and those people, they say that uh, there's no risk of plagiarism. They're even going to give you a plagiarism free report. But if you haven't done yourself, nobody can guarantee that uh, the person or the company uh, copied from somebody else. So you run the risk. It's a very high risk with very serious consequences. Uh, and yeah, it's not, it's not worthwhile. So as I keep saying, the CDR, the competency demonstration report application, uh, it's a simple process. Uh, it's just six steps. Uh, you can read in the booklet. But unfortunately, it's not easy uh, because each step will have a lot of things that you need to do to organize, to plan, to translate uh, the reports that you're going to write, uh, the 16 competencies that you're going to address as well. So although the process is simple, it will require a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of dedication. And unfortunately, some people, they get desperate and they ended up getting somebody to write on their behalf or they copy from somebody else and they get caught by plagiarism i got many people coming to me asking for help because they've been caught by plagiarism and they asking me for help so but there's not much i can do uh, one because i don't provide consulting services and two uh, if you copied well, then uh, you did something wrong and then you got to bear the consequences. And the other main reason why you could be uh, receiving a negative feedback from Engineers Australia, it's about your evidences or the supporting documentation which you work as evidences. So I'm just going to show you here. Competencies, plagiarism and evidences yes so it's critical that you can produce solid evidences of your work as a professional engineer when you're writing your career episodes and if you fail to do that you could have your application rejected or engineers australia could ask you to provide those evidences so if you are writing uh, based on your career or sorry academic experience uh, it's most likely that Engineers Australia will ask you to send a copy of the of your academic report. You don't need to translate that report. Usually the executive summary is already in English, uh, but Engineers Australia just wants to see that you actually produce that report. And if you're writing based on engineering work experience, it is critical that you produce supporting evidence of your professional engineering work like diagrams, tables, formulas, calculations, pictures, uh, and so on. Obviously, uh, as long as you were the author of those uh, evidences. If you don't really have access to those evidences anymore, uh, potentially you could use from technical standards, for example, tables and diagrams from technical standards or technical specifications. Uh, you just need to make it very clear that you haven't done those and that you are just getting from the technical standards just for uh, referencing uh, to the assessor. And, and other evidences, they are the reference letters and uh, ARTs, those ones from Brazil, they will know what is that, the technical responsibility annotation. Uh, other government documents to prove employment, like um, uh, your tax return, your social security, and your superannuation sort of uh, uh, documentation as well. All right, so I will release the, the first half of the password so you can get access to the PDF. So the first half of the password is negative. So I will put here in, I'm not going to put a lot of details, but I'm just going to put in the comments in Facebook, uh, negative. 
and then going to put in uh, YouTube negative so all in uh, small caps and I will towards the end I'm going to release the second half of the of the password okay so let's keep moving uh, the next bit is how to respond when engineers australia uh, provides you uh, a feedback usually a negative feedback engineers australia will usually give you 30 days for you to reply with what they've asked for uh, in your application in in engineers australia there is the my portal which is the engineers australia website where you will upload all the documents you will choose your category you pay the fees and you submit your application if you ended up receiving bad news or ended up receiving a negative feedback from engineers australia uh, it will be in that system so in, in the engineers australia website so you need to uh, respond using engineers australia my portal and you have 30 days for you to reply and then the next question uh what if what if you don't reply well the assessor they make very clear in the in the feedback uh, that if you don't reply within the time frame they will make the final assessment with what they have in front of them and in most cases they even say that uh, if you don't reply the application will be rejected uh, which means not approved so make sure that uh, when you get the feedback uh, you are very diligent and then you reply within the within the time period and make sure that you check every single thing that they ask for uh, because i believe that uh, it's just one shot that you have uh, if they ask you for evidences or they ask you for another career episode you just have one shot if you miss that shot uh, they will probably reject your application uh, the other reason why you could get a negative feedback it's about the complex engineering experiences so you need to consider very seriously if your experience involves a complex engineering experience uh, I know that this could be very subjective, but as an engineer, you should be able to judge if the experience in your field of engineering is complex or not. If it involves complex calculations, complex design works, complex analysis, then it appears to be complex engineering experience. A lot of engineers, they use uh, very simple examples of engineering experience and those examples usually the assessors they believe that is not up to the standard especially if you're applying for the professional engineer category and the other reason why it's uh, very minor errors in the application itself so the application as i mentioned it's everything on the engineers australia website and you have to fill out many many fields and sometimes i'm uh, just going to scroll down a little bit and sometimes some silly mistakes during the application can prevent you to be approved this can be approved straight away and you might get a feedback from engineers australia asking you to fix uh, those mistakes and some of the examples they could be uh, perhaps you just downloaded or uploaded the translated documents without the documents in the original language for example you have your university certificate in portuguese or spanish or hindi or whatever and then you translate that certificate and when you upload to the system you just upload the translated the english translated uh, document and then you forgot to upload the original uh, the document in the original language so if you did that engines australia will certainly ask you uh, to to upload the document in the original language uh, the other common mistake is about uh, 
that the translator details they are not in the translated document uh, you got to make sure that uh, you have your the translator has the identification name number contact details uh, and status in the translated document also when you scan the documents to upload in the system uh, you scan the document in black and white. Uh, the booklet says that the, all the scans, they got to be in color. And also another mistake is when you scan the document is not in high definition. It's got to have minimum of 300 DPI's in terms of uh, scanning uh, resolution. Another common mistake is you upload an English test, English test result, which is older than two years. So you gotta remember again, the booklet says that uh, English tests to be current, they cannot be older than two years by the day of the application. Uh, the other common mistake is spelling. So especially spelling of your educational institution. So um, there is a field in the Engineers Australia website that you need to type in the the name of your university or faculty or college etc and it's got to have the same spelling in your as your certificate so if, if the spelling is different uh, it's a very silly mistake very simple mistake but uh, engineers australia will ask you to to fix that another common mistake is that you change your name and you didn't upload the change of name document so could be your your marriage certificate or just a change of name document another mistake could be that uh, the career episodes and the summary statement when you upload the document you upload in pdf and the booklet says that uh, you gotta upload those two documents in word uh, why is that? I don't know. Maybe because uh, uh, it's easier for the plagiarism detection software uh, to work, perhaps. All right. The other questions that I would like to share with you is how long does it take to have a final response? So let's say that uh, you've applied and then after a few weeks, you get a, a negative feedback and... Engineers Australia gave you 30 days for you to reply and then after two or three weeks you reply back and then you you just wondering how long does it take for Engineers Australia to have a final response well this is going to depend on the complexity of the response that the response that was required by the assessor uh, myself I have seen an outcome coming just after a few hours uh, that was from uh, one of my students. She had to rewrite uh, some of the career or two of the career episodes. And she lodged the, the new career episodes uh, kind of at 9 a.m. in the morning. And then 1 p.m. on the same day, she got an email with the positive, uh, positive, positive outcome from Engineers Australia. But also I've seen uh, some other people that they told me that uh, after they sent uh, the response, Engineers Australia took a few weeks uh, to reply back as well. And I believe that also if you applied using fast track, uh, you paid that 300 and something dollars so they can uh, analyze and assess uh, qu uh, quicker. I believe that um, the time frame for them to, to reply back is going to be dependent on, on the fast track or not. And then uh, the other question is, what if my response is not uh, accepted? Well, if your response is not accepted, it is likely that your, applica your application will be rejected by Engineers Australia, which means that not approved. And in this case, you can request uh, for a revision process. And the first step is to request an informal revision or informal review. And if the result of this informal review is still not satisfactory to you, you can then request a formal appeal. Uh, so two stages for the revision process. 
obviously uh, these processes they take a lot of time and you also got to pay a fee for Ingenious Australia to do the informal review and the formal appeal as well all right so do you guys have any particular question uh, I'm going to send you guys the second half of the password so the second half of the password is going to be um, feedback so I just put in Facebook and I'm just going to put just put in uh, YouTube so <clears throat> So that is the second half of the password feedback. So you just got to get the first half, second half together, no space between them, all in small caps. And uh, this will be the password to unlock the PDF that I'm going to put in, um, in my Telegram group. But again, for the PDF to be released in Telegram group, you need to go to my last post of in Instagram, which is this one. And then you gotta like the post and make a comment. And the comment is pretty much answering this question that I'm going to, to show you now, which is in the PDF. Uh, what is your biggest fear? In receiving a negative feedback from engineers Australia so you go back to that post this one which has the the bad news and and then uh, please like the like the post and make a comment answering what is your biggest fear in receiving a negative feedback if I don't have likes or comments I will not produce the PDF. Well, I will, but the PDF is just going to be distributed to my students uh, from my mentoring program, obviously without the, the, the password. So I'm going to wait until probably 10 or 11 p.m. tonight, and I'll see if there is any uh, interaction in that post. If there is, then tomorrow I will be posting in Telegram with that password that I just mentioned, uh, the two halves together. And if there's no interaction, sorry, uh, you will miss out this PDF. So just showing you that's the, the PDF that I'm going to create and I'm going to post in the Telegram. So as you can see, there is, I think, uh, six pages and just reminding you guys that uh, if you're interested in participating in the next free workshop engineering qualification validation uh, you can register to the next event which is likely going to be in April and the link those ones in Instagram the link is in my uh, bio there is a link tree once you click on that link tree there will be a few buttons and one of the button is to actually register uh, to the free workshop uh, there's also a button for you to uh, be part of the telegram group if you're not really part of my telegram group as well uh, telegram is like whatsapp uh, it's a messaging app where I'm going to place the PDF if I have likes and comments and where I also post videos, audios and uh, opportunities for jobs, etc. All right, and also if you not really subscribe to my YouTube channel, I've got more than 150 videos there in my YouTube channel. Uh, talking about the validation process, talking about how to get your professional job here in Australia and other topics about engineering. Uh, please consider subscribing if you, if you like the content so the content can reach uh, more engineers. You just need to go to YouTube and then search for Gerson Ida. 
All right, guys, I'll just check if is there any question or not. Um, no, it doesn't look like there is any question there. Facebook or YouTube and Instagram as well. Okay, so I would like to thank you guys very much. And next week, I'll probably going to do a live session about a topic uh, from the series How to Get Your First Professional Job in Australia. And so I hope that uh, you can make it next Sunday, 8.30 p.m. Brisbane time either on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Thank you very much, and bye-bye. Thank you.